Hey everybody, it's Cubic Tom. Guess who's stuck in terrible, terrible Dublin traffic at rush hour? Oh man, I can't tell you how much I dislike my second job, even though it's the only thing that's keeping me alive these days. It basically involves driving in Dublin all day Thursday, all day Friday, and all day Saturday. Um, in this sort of traffic, and then people are ringing me all the time complaining that, you know, hey, you're late, or hey, I'm looking for this, or hey, I'm looking for that. Well, if you invent a teleporter, I'll be there in five minutes. But otherwise, shut your mouth and just wait. Your turn. <sighs> it's been 40 minutes now. Uh, and I've only sort of made it maybe half a kilometer. I have another maybe two kilometers to go to pick up my cold, cold dinner and then go back out to work. Yeah, because like it's now, let's say it's 25 to 6 and I have to meet a customer maybe at about half 6 and that's going to take half an hour to get to. So, bleh. Anyway, don't, don't work two jobs, kids. It just eats away at your soul and not in the fun way <sighs> it's also annoying so look at this vehicle in front of me it is really tall you can't see in front of it unless you sort of look around it you don't need to drive that sort of vehicle in the city like the back isn't being used to store anything uh, I don't know anyway I'm just here moaning because I can this is probably going to be vlog number two. It's pretty annoying because like, I tend to be so busy for the second job that I usually don't get a chance to go on the laptop for a couple of days. Like I'd release videos or whatever using um, like using the studio app thing that YouTube has while I'm out and about. Um, or you know, thank goodness for mobile internet. Yeah, like I started driving at one o'clock today, uh, a little bit earlier than normal actually, because I usually do my normal job, my, you know, weekday job, until five o'clock Thursday, then I drive to Dublin, and then suffer for a while. But I had to leave early today for reasons that aren't actually worth it. And the thing is, I can't even upload this video because it's going to be too big to use the crappy internet in the place that I stay. Their upload speed is 100 kilobytes a second, just about. And if you do that, no one in the house can use the internet. And it's terrible. And the download speeds are even worse. Like, tomorrow, no, today, today is the 5th. I think there's a rocket launch today. I normally watch those. But, um, why, who would want to watch a rocket launch in, like, 144p on YouTube. You want 1080. <sighs> I better check what time that rocket launch is at actually because I haven't missed one uh, for SpaceX. I've watched every single one live. Um, but this one's probably going to be at a super awkward time and I'm going to miss it. I want to see landings live. I, I also don't mind if the landings fail and see that live. That's a lot of fun too. Although it normally cuts out just before then. But you know. They do post it later on. Um, hey, here's a little lesson. So you can see in front of us two different reg plates. The yellow one in front of me is from Northern Ireland. And I, that, so my car has one of those as well because Belfast. And the one on the other side is from the south of Ireland. And because I'm from Northern Ireland, even though I'm taxed insured and all that sort of stuff, police pull me in about two to three times a week. Because... You know, it's a foreign car and you have to make sure I'm insured and stuff because it's all different. And it's really annoying. Because it wastes time and I don't have very much time. So like between Thursday evening and Saturday evening, I do 35 hours of work. So that's 35 hours of work in like 50 something hours. And it's almost all driving. Uh, with a little bit of paperwork late in the night. Um, so yeah, that's... Um, this is me just complaining. It sort of helps to look like a crazy person talking to yourself in your car when you're feeling down. I was also annoyed at the radio because um, my random shuffle thing on my phone 
it's been a bit too random and I've been getting songs several times in a row even though there's like a hundred things in the playlist nearly where I want to be uh, where are we now we are on the N32 in Coolock in North Dublin not far from the airport so that's why you have all these fancy hotels next to a place which is frankly a terrible kip by kip I mean run down poverty stricken place um, which is where I grew up as a kid um, like there were sort of cars stolen most nights and the place where we like the little field where we like like to play soccer or whatever tend to be covered in broken bottles from all the local alcoholics uh, sometimes it, that's where the burnt out cars would be and that would sort of upset our day um, yeah so even though the hotel and all looks nice if I were to point the camera in the other direction the view ain't so pretty I also have to keep the radio low so I don't get copyright infringement at the moment it's Aphex Twin but um, even though I'm sure he's a swell guy YouTube robots are robots and they um, they tend to be sort of fussy <sighs> so let, here, here's an explanation of the registration plates in front so the first two numbers are the year so this is from 2005 the letter in the middle is the county in Ireland it's from so this is Dublin D for Dublin and then there's some just a number and that number increments every time a car is sold um, although it's changed so in 2013 you know car sellers were afraid that the number 13 on every car registration plate would plummet sales because superstition and this is a Catholic country so everybody's an idiot uh, so they changed it that year so now it's like um, the number one is added at the end of the year if it's the first half and the number two second half so for in 2013 cars would be 131 or 132 because that would obviously put off people's fears of the number 13 because like I said this is a Catholic country and people are superstitious and stupid in general uh, my generation's even worse because there's loads of atheists but they're also stupid because they're atheists because it's culturally normal not because they've sat down and thought about it for a while so they're just loud and ignorant and they cause issues everyone just take it from me everyone's an idiot absolutely everybody it doesn't matter what religion what country what language you speak everybody's stupid like it's just a fact even your level of education I don't care if you dropped out of school when you're 13 or if you have a PhD I got another message um, you're still an idiot just just take it from me not not you my subscribers you are all great but um, everyone like all these people on the road in front of me stupid people on the road behind me pretty stupid on the other side of the road like I mean you can just tell from here that they're a little bit on the slow side not just by the speed they're driving but by the look on their faces or the lack of look on their faces yeah yeah I'm, you can tell I'm fed up don't take any of this seriously I'm just fed up from being stuck in traffic for 40 minutes Hey, you run a roundabout. Americans don't see these very often. They're really useful for traffic up to a certain extent. But then things get messed up because you have the likes of this, which is a bus lane, which is a part of the road which is closed for the occasional bus that passes by every 20 minutes. Um, oh, by the way, the bus lane is also the cycle lane. So those giant double-decker, several-ton devices with 80 people in them uh, and little tiny bicyclists, you know, totally exposed, share the same piece of road because that makes sense because it's Ireland hooray hey in the distance you might be able to see um, Hope that's it there the sort of hills and the, the up high that's, that's out in the sea actually it's where it's where an island connected to the mainland when that happens it's called a tumble no relation uh, alright so this is the part where I have to cut the video because I'm getting awfully close to where I'm going and I can't reveal that location so um so I hate everybody, everyone's an idiot, and yeah, talk to you later.